Okay, so this is lecture three, Ahara, and it's very interesting because you're actually going into making a food list. So it's very easy to uh, find a food list uh, on the internet, but it's very generic. It will talk about vegetables good for vata or pitta or kapha, but we will actually go into the dual doshas. Sometimes there are dual doshas which are problem, pitta and kapha are out of balance together, or vata, kapha are out of balance, or vata, pitta are out of balance. And when you need to have a diet which takes into account the dual dosha, this, that is a very hard thing to find, isn't it? So I thought that's what I'll take up because um, as far as just the vata, pitta, kapha list is concerned, that is easily found. Here we go. So. If you go to the list of vegetables available for VPK, it's very hard to remember and memorize them. So what we've done is uh, we went and divided the vegetables. So the first is you have your root vegetables here. Uh, then we have the leafy greens as well as the cruciferous vegetables. Then you have the pungent vegetables. That way it's easier to remember based on the taste and their action what they're good for and when they can be given for. So root vegetables means they're pretty much they're roots of a vegetable. So you have carrots and parsnips and turnips and potatoes, yam, yucca, artichokes, cauliflower. I'm not sure cauliflower is a, uh, it's not a root vegetable, but it's a cruciferous vegetable. So we leave cauliflower out of this. So mostly root vegetables is so from that perspective, ginger and turmeric would be, even though it's an herb, it would be a root. So anything that has a root, it's rooted in Mother Earth. So it has a very nourishing earth quality because it's coming from the earth. It's a root of the earth. So it is a very nourishing earth quality, and that's a generic rule. So if someone comes to you, they're very spaced out, their vatas, um, you know, very out of balance. So you can say, start eating root vegetables. Now, I get a lot of people uh, when their vata is out of balance. In the beginning, you know, I was giving people a list, a huge list that I had typed out and I had taken a long time to prepare. Eat this and eat that and you will feel better. And, and people were not following it. But if I told them, eat root vegetables, it was easier for them to remember. You know, it comes from the ground, it's going to help me. So if you, if you also make it easier for your client or patient or person who's um, getting a consult from you, it's, it's easier for them to follow it as well because you don't want to make it hard on them. So most of these vegetables, actually carrot would not be that good for vata, but we'll talk about it in a second. This is a very generic rule. Anything that comes from the ground usually will pacify vata. It is okay for pitta, but it will increase kapha. Why is it going to increase kapha? Why do you think it's going to increase kapha? Because it's an earth element. You know, generally, vegetables are very sattvic. So if a vegetable-based diet is generically, except for things like mushrooms, is generically more sattvic. It's situated in sattva, so it's balanced balancing to the mind as well as the body. So vegetables is uh, very, very important because they're balancing to the mind as well as the body. But one thing, you have to pluck uh, or take the vegetables or harvest them when they're ripe, not when they're unripe. Like tomatoes are sometimes harvested when they're unripe. So if you, they still don't have the nourishment, they haven't matured. And then they're artificially matured later. So we want local vegetables. They're very high in prana. They're organic. And we want that have been harvested naturally. Then it's ready for them to be plucked. They're plucked, not before. That is a very important thing. So when a vegetable is organic, it is non-genetically modified. It has many, many therapeutic qualities, according to Ayurveda. Uh, the root vegetables are usually nutritive. They contain, um, there are some of them are alteratives, some of them are contain vitamins and minerals, and they're like tonics. So root vegetables are almost like tonics, meaning they build dhatus. So anyone who's come to you, for example, the rasa dhatu is low. So 
we had a question from Christian on the was it on the yoga therapy module? I don't know where, where it was. He was asking if somebody does not is not having the period, a lady, what is wrong with her? Obviously, her rasa dhatu is low. It's one of the reasons. If the rasa dhatu is low, she needs to eat foods that will build her dhatu, that will build her rasa. So grounding vegetables that you know increase her uh, vata, they, they they build the dhatu, the rasa dhatu, and nourish it becomes very important. Um, so you have quite a few. We have the root vegetable, leafy green, pungents, nightshades. We have diuretics. How do you cook these vegetables? How do you cook them? So obviously, usually root vegetables are okay for pitta and vata. So you would cook them according to the vata and pitta spices. So if it's a vata person, you you can cook them. ghee and vata churnam or vata spices. And in the last class I'd asked you to make a vata churnam vata powder and uh, so you use ghee and you can use sesame oil and use a vata churnam like cinnamon and hingu and a couple of other vata spices. So obviously when you're making the same vegetable that is okay for vata pitta for a vata person, you will add vata powder to it, vata spices to it. If you are suggesting a pitta person take it, then very mild pitta spices, nothing, no spice that is heating. So some spices like cumin, coriander, fennel, and made in sunflower oil, safflower oil, or ghee. Nothing else. So there's a huge thing about extra virgin olive oil, and it's amazing, but it's neutral. If you want to reduce, of course, you can also cook this in cold pressed coconut oil. This is all good for pitta. But you are not going to use cold pressed coconut oil for vata. Ghee, vata churnam. And vata churnam is a lot of nice, warming, vata pacifying spices. You have cinnamon and nutmeg, you have ginger and turmeric, you have uh, asafoetida, and of course, you have cumin, coriander, fennel as well. Hi, Avalon. How are you doing? I hope you're okay. All right. Do you want me to go back and uh, do a little revision here, or should we just move on? Let me know. Okay. All right.